Hello everyone and welcome to the weird, scary and horrible parts of humanity. Pedro Rodriguez Filho, who was also known as Killer Petty and the Brazilian Dexter, was born on the 17th of July 1954 in Santa Rita do Sapucai in the south of Minas Gerais, the second most populous state in Brazil. He was born on a farm with his skull bruised from birth as a result of his father kicking his mother's belly during fights while she was pregnant. He was one of 14 children with 10 sisters and 3 brothers. The first time Philo wanted to kill someone was when at the age of 13 he was in a fight with an older cousin pushing the young man into a sugar cane and almost killed him. His first murder occurred when he was aged 14 when he killed the deputy mayor of Santa Rita dos Sapucal, shooting him in front of the city hall after his father, who was a school guard, was accused of stealing food from the school kitchen. Filo then killed a security guard who he suspected of being a thief. He then moved to Mogi das Cruzes, a suburb of Greater Sao Paulo, where he began robbing drug dealers and killing drug traffickers. While in Mogi das Cruzes, he set up his own gang business and began to eliminate gang rivals as well as free ex croonies He moved in with his girlfriend Maria Apacadia Olympia, nicknamed Botinha. Botinha eventually became pregnant and Philo confessed that he was in love with her. However, while pregnant, she was killed by a rival gang leader. As a result, Philo sought revenge, which led to himself and four comrades visiting a former rival during a wedding party, where he killed seven people and wounded 16. His mother was then killed by his father with 21 machete blows. When Philo found out with his father in a moggy prison, Philo executed his father with 22 stab wounds, ripped out his father's heart, chewed a part of it but did not swallow it and spat it out. On the 24th of May 1973, Philo was arrested for the first time. While being transferred to prison, he murdered a prisoner to whom he was handcuffed and was travelling with, claiming that he murdered the individual because he was a rapist. Philo was sentenced to 126 years in prison. Imprisoned in Taubate prison in Taubate, a medium-sized city in the state of Sao Paulo, Philo managed to survive in prison by killing other prisoners, 47 in total, and causing other prisoners to hate him. He killed and wounded fellow prisoners, including when attacked by five prisoners, killing three of them and chasing the other two away. He also once killed a cellmate because he snored too much and he did not like his face. He also had tattooed on his left arm, I kill for pleasure, in Brazilian Portuguese. Exhibited by a psychiatrist, Philo was judged to be a psychopath, and in 1982, he was judged to have a violent affirmation of himself with a paranoid and antisocial personality. Brazilian law prohibits anyone from spending more than 30 years in prison, however a 1934 decree allows psychopaths to be maintained indefinitely in psychiatric establishments for treatment. The 1934 decree was signed by President Guitilo Vargas, who was interim president of Brazil from 1930 until 1934, constitutional president from 1934 to 1937, as well as dictator from 1937 until 1945, before returning as a democratically elected president from 1951 until his suicide on the 24th of August 1954. However, the decree was repealed by Decree Number 99,678 on the 8th of November 1990, while Philo's sentence was increased to 400 years because of the crimes that he had committed while in prison, in accordance with the 1934 decree, he was released on the 24th of April 2007 after 34 years in prison. Upon his release, he moved in with his girlfriend, who had spent 12 years in prison for theft, with the pair communicating through letters while Philo was incarcerated. His main motivation for his release, according to Philo, was to be with his girlfriend. The pair moved to Fortaleza, a city in the state capital of Ceara in the northeastern region, a state of Brazil. There he worked as a caretaker in Balanario Camboiro on the Santa Catarina coast. However, he was a free man for less than four and a half years. On the 14th of September 2011, he was arrested at 11am at his home in Balanario Camboiro for participating in six riots and deprivation of liberty, sentenced to eight years in jail.
Released in 2018, he remained a free man ever since and even has a YouTube channel where he talks about crimes, including crimes that he has committed. He is currently living with relatives. While it is known that he has killed at least 71 people, he is suspected of killing more than 100 people. Age 67, he has spent 42 years in prison. According to his YouTube channel, his dreams are to take care of a small farm, live a quiet life in the middle of the woods with people leaving him alone. Thank you for watching, please do yourself a favour and hit that subscribe button and the bell icon to inform you when new videos come out. Also, why not hit that like button and leave a nice comment, it helps more than you know and your support is truly appreciated. Until next time, stay awesome, stay classy, be kind to everyone you meet and have an amazing day.